Is it even possible to really start from zero in real estate, like absolute zero? Zero money, zero knowledge, and the answer is yes, sort of. Welcome back, my name is Alex Boltaran. I talk real estate, and lately I've been asking myself two major questions. One, if I could go back and do it differently, how would I do it within the world of real estate? And two, is the concept of buying real estate with zero money really possible? And more importantly, how can I simplify that in a way that the average person can absolutely understand it? Well, here's my attempt at that. <laughs> Well, philosophically, I wouldn't change a damn thing because I actually like where my life is right now. I guess the next question is, you know, do I wish I could accomplish more? Yeah, absolutely. But that's like my baseline state of mind. The only people that don't want to accomplish more are probably resting six feet under in some graveyard. I'm not there yet. Don't plan on being there anytime soon. So until then, yes, I want to keep growing in my career, in my life, and everything that goes along with it. But if I could really condense my real estate acumen and give some practical advice to the average person, this is what I would say. Number one, become passionate in your subject, and two, stop being such a know-it-all, all right? Look, I came from a real estate family. When it came to entering the world of real estate sales, I was miles ahead of every new real estate agent, but then very quickly, they overtook me. Why? Because I never picked up a book, I never cared about classes, I didn't take into consideration my own family's limitation on the subject of real estate. I mean, I was just a brat if you really think about it. And because of that, I really missed out on developing my knowledge and my skills. Look. I became licensed at the age of 21. It wasn't until the age of 26 that I realized that there's a difference between title and deed. And it wasn't until then that I also realized that there's a difference between ownership and control. A lot of people are still trying to figure that one out. The other aspect that really kind of screwed with my head and really punched me in the face, so to speak, was my role in the world of real estate. For the longest time, I thought I was in the real estate business. Uh, uh, uh. I am a service provider for people that are in the real estate business. Very, very different concept. I, uh, there was this one time I was talking to a title rep over lunch. Shout out Mark Medina from California Title Company back in California. Use them for your title needs. <laughs> Where he was explaining to me what title companies actually do. Because spoiler alert, title companies see how all deals come together. Yeah, very valuable information. I got to peek behind the curtain and it's where I got to see how deals came together. And very quickly I noticed that me as a real estate agent was very, very replaceable, if not the most replaceable aspect of a real estate deal. And that bummed me the fuck out. It's where I realized that the real real estate business is on the ownership and investment side. I mean, like this entire time, I was busy asking other real estate agents, even my own family members within the world of real estate, what the secret to real estate was. And their response was usually sell more real estate so you can get more commission checks. And they're not wrong if you want to be a real estate salesperson your entire life. But when I talked to the title rep, I very quickly realized that I was asking the wrong question to the wrong person. I should have been asking the title rep what the secret to real estate as a whole was. And once the title rep explained to me what the pros are really doing, man, that lit a fire under my ass because this entire time I was just working with retail buyers and sellers. You know, the type of people that buy property under their own name. He showed me what the pros were doing and very quickly you pick up on a pattern. All of them, and I mean all of them, operated within the world of corporations, whether it was an LLC, an S Corp, a, you name it. All of them work within the world of corporations. That's how they bought homes. That's how they joint ventured. That's how they banked. That's how they got their lines of credit. That's how they maintained control of their properties. Instead of a FICO score, they were operating in the Dunn score. Just a completely different game that is being played that is very foreign to the average person. The other superpower that they had is that they were operating within the world of tax strategies. It literally supercharged all of their real estate assets. And that's where I realized that just real estate sales is a sucker's game long term. You have to purchase real estate too. It's the only way you're gonna be able to survive those dry spells. Real estate agents know what I'm talking about when you haven't sold shit in like 
six months, yeah, you begin to envy the W-2s with their bi-weekly paychecks very quickly. And speaking of money, and that really brings me to the next question, is it really possible to start in real estate with zero money, zero dollars? The literal answer is no, money has to be transferred in order for a deal to be legal. So money has to be moved around. I think it's surprisingly less than what most people think, or even better yet, a better explanation would be, you have to know what zero money means within the world of real estate. And for that, you're going to need to buy some books. And look, I get it. If you want to skip all the mindset stuff, there's so many books on freaking mindset. Everything's about mindset. It is. It's true. Everything is about mindset. But if you want to go straight to the meat and potatoes, I'm going to suggest to you five different books right now. All right. First book, Blue Ocean Strategy. All right. This book isn't going to tell you what purchasing real estate with zero money actually means. However, and big however, uh, this is part of the big puzzle and it is to create your own market. All right. You see this all over YouTube. A lot of people are like, oh, the market's going to crash. Blah, 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 blah. If you create your own market, yes, you still have to be worried about the market. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. However, it's less likely because you're operating in, you know, what Blue Ocean Strategy considers a blue ocean. All right. There's less competition. Chances are you're going to be able to read the room a little bit better than the average person because you're almost exclusively in that market. Blue Ocean Strategy. I know it's a marketing book, but creating your own market goes a very long way. The second book that you should absolutely look into is Raising Private capital. Well, some schmutz on it. What is that? <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, uh, just because you aren't spending your money doesn't mean that money isn't being spent. Understanding how to raise money, understanding private lenders, understanding the banking. This goes into all of it. Understanding how to acquire money in order to purchase properties goes a very long way. The third book I'm going to recommend is Wealth Without Cash. This particular book is going to go into creative financing and everything that goes along with it. Uh, Pace Morby actually has a great YouTube channel. I'll try to link it somewhere. Uh, he goes into a lot of this stuff on his YouTube channel. Granted, he is trying to sell you some type of course. Take that into consideration. But overall, um, the creative financing part and what is possible with the paperwork side and how you can connect people. It, read the book, is a great way to understand what using no money is. The next thing is, and I brought this up earlier, starting your own corporation. Don't go into real estate without, well, you know what? I can't say that because I'm not an accountant or, uh, or an attorney, but, um, Let's just say you get a lot of vital information from starting your own corporation. Last but not least is tax-free wealth. Look, taxes are freaking boring, man. And <laughs> I, I bought this book expecting fully that I was gonna read it. I ended up stopping like probably about 30 pages in and just got the audio book, uh, the, uh, excuse me, the audio book version of it. And it does use Tom Wheelwright's um, voice. Uh, and he's actually a lot more entertaining in the audiobook version. But a huge piece of the puzzle when it comes to buying real estate with zero money has a lot to do with taxes, okay? It is a little bit of a snore fest, but very important. Like I said, I highly recommend uh, the audiobook version of that particular book. And look, these books are roughly anywhere between 20 to about 25 bucks a pop, right? So at a bare minimum, you're spending 100 to 150 bucks just to understand what buying with zero money actually means. Once you understand the concept of infinite return, you are a powerful real estate investor. You really are. The next thing is if you decide to go into the corporate realm at a bare minimum, you're spending three to 500 bucks to get corporatized. Unless you're in California, you spend anywhere between eight to a thousand dollars just to get corporatized. Ridiculous. California hates business, hates businesses, hates business owners, and especially hates anybody that is involved in real estate, which is why even though I love California, 
California despises me. <laughs> and look, once you've done all that, all this reading, you have to implement it, right? Like no amount of motivation is going to help you implement this. You have to do this on your own. If you don't take those first steps, you're never gonna get it done. It's that simple. But uh, yeah, anyway, I hope that helps somebody. If there are other books that you want me to recommend, go on ahead and comment in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to give you a list of books. I also have other videos where I talk about books to absolutely read. I think a lot of them I actually talk about these same books because they're just that freaking important. Um, but yeah, all right, cool. I will catch you guys next week. Peace.